Canada, we stand on God. With the lighting of Vancouver's Olympic Cauldron Wednesday marking the start of the Paralympics in Paris, Team Canada already tallied two bronze medals on day one, with Calgary's track cyclist Kate O'Brien taking home the bronze in the 500-meter time trial. Later in the day, O'Reilly Rivar capturing her 11th career Paralympic medal and bronze in the women's 50-meter freestyle. Daniel Wesley is a four-time Paralympic champion, and he shared his experience and how the athletes in Paris might be feeling during the Games. When I was competing, what I would do is I would um, carry around on my shoulders the weight of the country because I wanted to uh, show the world what Canada was made of. And, uh, and that's what the athletes have here in Paris is the opportunity to, uh, to show the world what we're made of. Burnaby native and Paris Olympian in Taekwondo, Yosipa Kafadar, was among the attendees for the Cauldron Lighting Ceremony in Vancouver. She reflected on her journey to the Paris Games and mentioned just how special it is for herself and Paralympians to represent Canada on a global stage. And I've had to work super hard. I've had some highs and some lows throughout my career, but I'm still super young. And this was just another event that really um, fueled the flame for my next cycle. So I'm sure that this is going to be an amazing experience for the Paralympians and hopefully that they'll take away an amazing moment from this Games. During Wednesday's cauldron lighting ceremony, there was also a look ahead to the Invictus Games being held in Vancouver and Whistler in February of next year. It will see around 550 wounded and injured veterans from 22 nations compete in 11 different sports. Jeff Becker, a retired combat engineer and Port Moody, B.C. native, will be among the 56 Canadian competitors. He said it's more than just competition. A competitive games for wounded, injured and sick veterans um, to bring people together, the power of sport and also road to recovery. And as I've been learning now as part of the team, um, it, it can also be a beginning instead of an end. Um, I've experienced a lot of positive impacts already and the games are still five months out. The Invictus Games kick off February the 8th in 2025. In Vancouver, Joe Sadowski, City News.